Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. He one is a rapper from New Orleans and he is calling out. Oh, I was so happy to hear another rapper because we talk about this all the time on this channel rappers not holding other male rappers accountable remember when fabulous he wanted to come out with that dusty think piece about sexy red and cardi b and all these female rappers and how they're a bad influence on females and i'm not saying that they're not you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that young girls are not taking on their personas and wilding out but my issue with fabulous is um your own daughter has a baby by g bozo why are you not holding him accountable for all the you know goofy stuff that he does? And it's like male rappers never hold each other accountable. So when D1 basically called out um, Meek Mill, Rick Ross, and Jim Jones, I loved it. I was here for it. So we're going to go ahead and listen to the audio of D1 calling them out. We're also going to listen to Rick Ross's response and Jim Jones' response as well. Because you know you can't hold a rapper accountable for anything without them deflecting. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this really quick. So give me a chance here to pull this up. So this will be the last video of the night here. All right, here we go. Jim Jones, you could do better, brother. I love you too much. I love you too much to not be honest with you. Rick Ross, you could do better, brother. Meek Mill, you could do better, brother. I love you too much not to be honest with you. Are you the face of prison reform? Because I held, uh, are you the face of prison reform? Or are you sitting here on your new song with Ross talking about getting somebody murked and shot at the red light? Which one is it, bro? Which one is it, bro? Because I did a shoe giveaway in my city and gave out 1,300 pairs of your shoes because they said reform underneath them. And I love that you partnered with, with a major shoe company and, and you out here pushing prison reform. But now I got to sit here like, man, this man glorifying getting people killed as of a week ago. Like, what are you doing, bro? Lil Snoop really got killed. That broke your heart. You wear him around your neck. What? Why are you glorifying the same thing when my best friend got killed? When Carl got killed, New Orleans know who I'm talking about. When Carl got killed... And I had to go to his funeral and read the eulogy and be part of the funeral. And I got back in my causeway after the funeral and I turned on my music and I realized I'm listening to music that's glorifying the same stuff that just happened to my best friend. Mm -hmm. It gave me chills and I needed that moment. That was my come to Jesus moment of like, D, you got to do something different, brother, because because you have a taste for this poison, but you, you're attracted to the poison and rap is great. The rap game, hip hop industry is great at cooking up some delicious poison. I don't call y'all because I got a problem with you, man. Like, I wish we could go get lunch right now, me and any of them. I love you too much to not be honest with you. There you go. That's what it is, bro. Yeah. And so if anybody, yeah, if anybody feel bad about being called out, it's like, let, let's talk. Let's uh, let, let's talk. Let's talk about it. And, and, let, and let's just figure out what we can do better. But at the end of the day, guess what's not changing? The word of God ain't changing. Okay. Uh, there's death and life in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18 and 21. That's not changing. And trying with this foolish argument that it's just it's just entertainment. This ain't real. Mm -hmm. How many more people got to die in the hood, man? How many how many people at the end of the day lives got to get ruined and and poisoned and how many rappers got to get killed for us to be like, "Come on, man, when it's hip hop, it's a whole culture, and, and it's implied that this is autobiographical and this is nonfiction tales that people are telling. How, how much does that have to happen? So don't hit me with that. People just don't want to confront the reality of this stuff, man. Don't. You can do better, Rick Raw. You can do better. I got to see you do better. Wait, wait. Little man, whoever you is, until you feed the kids where you from for 20 years straight, don't question Rose. Wait, wait. Until you buy 10,000 bikes, 10,000 trikes. Give all the young girls who pregnant pampers for Christmas for 20 years straight. Don't question boss. You hear me, little man? Get that basket off your head so you could think clear, little man. You going viral for speaking 
It's not because of your talent, not because of your gift. Go viral, player, off of your, your, your wisdom that you're sharing. You're speaking all day. Yeah, me, me, Bill. You just, wait, well, you know what I mean? He died the summer they released self destruction. It's dying right now. So don't make it to see in the morning. Get that basket off your head, boy, and come together with real on the world. So when your grandma need a kid, since you want your grandma need a kid, since you want to go viral, I'm going to show you how to go viral, little man. But go viral feeding them kids in your hood. Go viral Christmas time, man. Don't be damned. Jim Jones, Jim Jones just gave away goddamn six figures worth of clothes in his hood. <laughs> Who talking? Looking vegan, knowing you eat more goddamn bigly wiggly bacon than any other out here. Shut up. I really, 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 really do a lot yeah. for the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he talked about lyrics. I don't care about none of that. Okay. In real life, in a real life, I do a lot for the people. Miss me with the rhetoric about what I do in my music. I get money off my music. Don't tell me how to make my dollars. You got to watch whose names you mentioning out here. Mm -hmm. You heard? Yeah. Because my little cousin might not like how you mention my name. Mm. You heard? And then he might want to slap a dread out your head just because he don't understand that you using my name for fame and he don't understand that. Yeah. There's a certain way to go about th certain things when you're using certain people's name. Mm -hmm. When you do certain things, it's a reaction for every action. What's what the best be way? It's out now. There ain't no best way to have a conversation. <laughs> he got to see me when he see me now. Okay. You know? If he reached he out. Had, he, had, he had the chance. He could have reached out. That, that avenue of talking to me is out. That's out. You heard? I had the same conversation with Farrakhan. Mm. How did that go? He summoned me. Uh huh. For saying his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. If you know now what you're talking about, young man, let me school you to what you're doing. Well, yeah, it is music. So, in a bit of music, you do get. Yeah, you, you do get what you get, you heard? Uh -huh. But we're still in the entertainment business. But miss me with the bullshit, you heard? When you see me, keep your hand down, you heard? Where you from, New Orleans? No, you don't play with me like that. People from New Orleans already call me, you heard? You preacher, get out of here. You told to. Uh, uh, that was that king? He told? Yeah, he told. So we ain't going to get into that. Oh, no. I don't yeah, know what he yeah, want. Yeah, well, okay. you want. Will you snap on him? Yeah. No, 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 like you sell incense all day. We got other things. We can go. But listen, I'll say this. You know they sell two sticks on two fifth by the four chain. Come on, let's not, we don't, let's not do that. Come on, come on, Jim. No, but listen, no, no, what I'm saying is, I'm glad you addressed it. Bro, he's not, bro, let's not even talk about him. Okay. I don't even know him. Let's know move on. At. I don't but, really care about him. He's a figment of my imagination. Well, he, well let I've me say this. I've seen people reprimanded yeah. for less, I promise you. Yeah, that. I just. There's niggas will wrinkle your shirt for, for, for way less than that. Yeah. Huh? I, I will say, he's he's been putting in work for years. Yeah. And he's, right. he, yeah he, he's been all over the country. He's for, for, obviously, not working for him because he's using other people's name. If he was doing something from his heart, he shouldn't use nobody else's name if you've been outside doing that work. That that's it. I, I don't want to go back and forth. I just want y'all to know he's been in. He's done work. He does work in a different area. Right, keep yeah. doing your, keep doing work. You heard? Okay. Leave me, leave me out of that. You heard? I promise you, leave me out of that. I'm scared for anybody that bothers me. I don't want no problem. I don't want no drama. I don't want you to mention my name because I don't want no drama. I don't want to get an attitude because you mentioned my name for no reason. I don't even want to get into that. Okay. But I know I'm. I, you know I. I guess I, I start. I start glitching and shit like that. You heard? But you got me very upset about this, bro. Let me know what you do besides preaching to the people, bro. You heard? When you want to do some some positive and, and, and do something for the people instead of talking, holla at me, bro. Rick Ross! First of all, I love you, brother, and I want you to know that because you sounded a little upset in your video replied to me, but I love you too much to not be honest with you, and right now, you're deflecting. I was talking about your lyrical content, and you talking about turkeys. I'm talking about you as a hip-hop OG still glorifying murder and drug dealing in your music, and you talking about turkeys? Bro, more people are streaming your music than eating your turkeys. You can believe that, brother. Oh, then you can make fun of my accent and my hair, brother. That's lightweight, you hear me? What am I doing to help my community? Well, my whole adult life, I've been a middle school teacher. Now I'm a full-time hip-hop artist. Just dropped my 10th album. It's called Uno. You should check it out, actually. I've helped to give out hundreds of thousands of dollars in college scholarships for students around this country. Done financial literacy tours year after year, brother. Shoe drives, toy drives, voter registration rallies, prison ministry. 
I'm currently a professor at Tufts University teaching the intersection of hip hop and social change, and I'm a fellow at Harvard University. Ultimately, I'm just trying my best to do God's work in this industry, bro. Then you say, won't I go viral with my own content? Brother, you a little late to the party. I've been successful for a while, man, and not having to glorify the things that's harmful to our community. Could you do that? I'm curious. Bro, I work with some of the same artists as you, The Game, Lupe, Big Crit, Juvenile, Manny Fresh, Currency, Kevin Gates, uh, Sway, Charlamagne, these people know me, man. So as black men, let's do our best to do God's work and not glorify what's holding us down, man. All right. <laughs> the comment section got me dying. Somebody said, anybody check up for them lemon pepper flappers? Talking about Rick Ross's, um, you know, his little chicken wing spot. Wing stop. He said more people know you for your for your murder music than your turkeys. He's not lying. And this is sad. Once again, deflection, deflection, deflection. And did Jim Jones just threaten that man? Did he just talk about wrinkling his shirt? Like, damn, that's like all because he said you need to change your music, put out more positive music, and your response is you need to keep a name out your mouth for I wrinkle your shirt. Like, was that a threat, sir? Like, it is not that serious. You know, my thing is this, at the end of the day, I don't think D1 is saying anything wrong. Um, you know, you can't serve two masters, like I always say on this channel, you cannot serve two masters. You, you gotta pick one eventually. And I'm not saying like there's, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong per se with, you know, having the freedom to rap about what you wanna rap about. But can we also be honest about the consequences? Can we also be honest that, you know, a lot of the low vibrational rap lyrics, and I don't care if it's coming from the men or coming from the women, um, it does do things for the community. It does do things to the community. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these rappers are putting out a message in their music that a lot of them are not even living. Like you're rapping all this murder, murder, kill, kill type music, but you got security, you're living in a mansion, you're no longer on old block. So like, who are you murdering and killing? Like, you know what I mean? So it's just sad, like, as soon as somebody is holding a mirror, you know, called accountability to hip hop, it's all these excuses and I'm giving away turkeys. I, you know, I was giving out turkeys and shit. Who cares if you're giving out turkeys when you're still selling destruction? You know, just like he was calling out Meek Mill. Oh, and you know, Meek Mill has something to say, child. Let me see if I have Meek Mill's response on my desktop. Let me see if I still have it. Cause he was, um, upset about his response um let me see is it here oh yeah here it is let me show y'all what meek mill had to say you know he has something to say child so this was meek mill's response to d1 meek says nah we do everything lol i was rapping this way when i became the face of reform that's how i got there Y'all forget that fast. Meek. A lot of people from Philly were leaving comments on Instagram basically saying that your music has been a detriment to the community. And that is why the murder rate is so high. Not just because of his music, of course, but, you know, the seeds that he's planted. And he does not be in Philly like that. You know, he's in the safety of his home. But that music that he made is still very, very popular. So, and again, it's not to like you know, necessarily not these rappers. Cause yeah, I like Meek Mill's music. I like some of his songs and stuff like that. But let's keep it real. There's not a balance. Like I think if there was more of a balance or if the good stuff and the positive stuff got promoted just as much as like the murder, murder, kill music, then it wouldn't be as many complaints. Like when we were growing up, like I always tell y'all, like back in the day, you know, we had all that. You had the NWAs who were talking about, you know, murder, murder, kill, kill, and, you know, dope man and F the police. But then you also had groups like Arrested Development. You had Digital digital Planets. You had, you know, there were so many choices. So if you didn't want to listen to NWA, you had Public Enemy. You had, you know, more uplifting stuff as well. But in this day and age, there's none of that. Just like back in the day, you had the Trinas, you had the Foxies, Little Kims, which you also had Queen Latifah. You also had, you know, other positive female rappers. Whereas nowadays, yeah, you may have Rhapsody, but nobody's quoting her lyrics. But I'm seeing kindergartners talking about ski. And I'm like, what is this? Why are they all in school talking about ski? You know, so it's like, 
it's like the most low vibrational stuff gets pushed. But if we really want to have a real conversation, while it's also easy to blame the rappers, because again, right, they need to be held accountable for what they put out there. We also, like I always say, what about the label execs? You know, they also need to be held accountable as well, because again, the music that gets pushed is what they want to put out there. And a lot of the positive music does not get pushed. So it's like just one big circle. But I just like the fact that as another rapper in the game, that he's actually calling out these rappers' names. And they can get as mad as they want to, but again, it's just deflection. I'm just glad that D1 caught out the rappers and he just spoke his truth. I don't think he said anything wrong because again, think about it. When Fabulous was calling out the female rappers, all the guys were co-signing it. Like nobody was like, oh, Fabulous, I'm gonna wrinkle your shirt. Jim Jones wasn't cussing out Fabulous, you know? And most of the girls didn't even say anything back. They just, you know, were like, okay, that's his opinion and kept it moving. So I think it's only right that somebody calls out the guys as well. And hopefully, you know, they'll start making better music and, you know, more high vibrational stuff, or maybe that's just wishful thinking. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.